So Dragon Ball Z Universe 2 has changed lots of things for the characters, and what I mean specifically by that is by the Saiyans with their new Saiyan transformation stuff, which is looking hella dope and hella hype. So before I get started here, I want to tell you guys exactly what the changes are, what you guys should know, and let's get started without further ado. It's me, Quality Hero, and let's do it. So as you guys may know, Dragon Ball Z Universe 2 was a very important game that was presented at the Anime Expo this past week. So, there was going to be a Japan Expo, but that's further on for later news. But in the Anime Expo, they were practically showcasing a Saiyan, because that is probably like the most favorited race of all time. And they were showing how the Super Saiyan works from so let's let's get how it works. So you have this specific slot that is meant for transformations only, it looks like. That's L2, R2, Circle. That is specifically meant only for the Sage, for any transformation. And in this new say, in, in this new transformation, you can see that it only says Super Saiyan on it. And when you're in Super Saiyan, it says Unwoken Skill Use, something like that. So, what Super Saiyan means is that that Super Saiyan is actually from Super Saiyan 1 to Super Saiyan 3. And what that basically does is that the more you charge up, the more key that you add is the farther you will get into your transformations, which is the complete opposite of Dragon Ball Z universe. So, just to make this less complicated, I'm going to like divide it into two pieces. So, I'm going to explain what Dragon Ball Z universe the first one did, and then I'm going to explain what Dragon Ball Z universe 2 is doing right now. So, as you can see in Dragon Ball Z universe, when you want it to turn Super Saiyan, you cannot choose, you can only choose one at a time, whether it being Super Saiyan 1, Super Saiyan 2, Super Vegeta 1, or Super Vegeta 2. That's basically it, that's all you can choose. And when you transform, your key would drain, and you had the ability to spam any move that you would like at and at no expense, so you wouldn't be losing key. Your key would only be draining because you're in the Super Saiyan state, and that's what it does. But in that meantime, you could spam moves, which was a big problem for Dragon Ball Z universe. And as you guys may know, in Dragon Ball Z Universe 2, it's completely different. So you can transform from Super Saiyan 1 to 2 to 3, depending how much key you build up. So for example, let's say you turn it to Super Saiyan 1, you need three you need three key bars at least. You want to go to Super Saiyan 2, which is around, I think, five key bars. You Then when you have five key bars, you transform it to Super Saiyan 2. And then when your key bar is max, then you go to the Super Saiyan 3 state, which I can't express how dope this is looking look at the super saiyan 3 look at the look at the way it fucking looks it, it like it looks so great i can't explain how well it looks that's how good it is it's looking hella hype and hella dope if you guys want to play as a saiyan now comment down below just tell me if you guys want to play as a saiyan because basically after that what i just saw i want to play as a saiyan i want to play as an arcosian but that saiyan's looking hella dope so yeah, that's basically how it works. You go from Super Saiyan 1, 2, 3, depending how much key you have. Now, like the second change is that, as you guys may know, in Dragon Ball Z Universe, the first one, when you turn Super Saiyan, you'd be losing key. And this, that is not the case for Dragon Ball Z Universe 2. When you turn Super Saiyan 1, you're staying at Super Saiyan 1, and you will be dispensing key at will. So let's say you do an ultimate attack. It's going to take three bars away, but your energy is not going to be drained. Uh, same thing for Super Saiyan 2 and 3. And basically, it's doing what it's supposed to do, be giving you a boost. Is there any way you can break this form? Well, I'm not really sure because I don't see the way it runs out. If Rob Style was playing once and it ran out, but I never knew why it ran out. I don't know, like when you break your stamina for some people, uh, it doesn't do anything. It doesn't break your Super Saiyan, but that's whatever. So, the last thing I want to talk about is the spamming. So, as you guys may know, they said that spamming was in Dragon Ball Z Universe 1. And in Dragon Ball Z Universe 2, they removed that. So, now, as you know, when you use a skill attack, it will be taking away your key bars. And you want to be careful with that so you can do as you want. Because I think in the Super Saiyan state now for Dragon Ball Z Universe 2, it, you want to space out. It, it gives a boost to your strike supers. So, you want to be making each and every single one count when you're fighting. So, yes, guys, that was me explaining how Super Saiyan is going to work in Dragon Ball Z Universe 2. Please share the video because Dragon Ball Z Universe 2 content will be flowing around this channel nonstop. I will be, I legitimately break down part by part of what I saw in videos and explain it. I don't want to do one big one because that may be too complicated and other that kind of stuff. So, that is basically what I'm here to explain. All my social links are in the description below. Subscribe if you want some Dragon Ball Z Universe 2 content. And that's it. Later, guys.